sorry I have bright hair ugly look I'm yeah I just did this makeup look so now I'm just gonna take it off have a little talk with you show you all my liquid lips and lipsticks and yeah maybe do some more makeup or maybe just some eyeshadow this time no foundation anything like that so if you want to keep on watching this um i'd love that so yeah keep on watching so i'm gonna take off all this makeup with these wipes i can really run out of them because that's all i use i love those wipes especially the micella cleansing wipes especially those ones so yeah. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been posting lately. Um, I really don't know why. Well, actually, I do know why. Um, I haven't been posting because um my editing system hasn't been working. So yeah. Uh, so I was making videos I was but I felt like none of the videos were good to upload without editing them I feel like I had to edit them so I just haven't been uploading because yeah my editing system still isn't working so yeah if you haven't realized already I've got a new setup so that's good So I'm going to try and recreate this eye look today, I am. So This literally takes off all your makeup. I love using wipes instead of like um, makeup removers because sometimes there can be like different stuff in makeup removers that can make your skin go really bad, which I don't really like. I know wipes don't really aren't really good for your skin either because it's like tugging on your skin and like rubbing, so that's really bad for your skin too. But like, at least it hasn't got any like bad products, well like, which will really damage your skin. Like, makeup remover still. So. So yeah. I think all my makeup's off. So I'm gonna like try to recreate the eye look that I just had on, which was like this like rainbow look. Yeah, I just saw it on James Charles' channel um, of this person. What well, is the new one? That did, sorry, that just came out, and the last girl um, did like this rainbow look. So I was really inspired because I never ever use colours, even though I have lots of colourful palettes. I just never use colours. I don't think it's my strong suit. Do you know my other spot? Other spots. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna just be doing eyeshadow today, so yeah. Um, the lashes that I'm going to be using today are the 
Allee. Ja, het is pak goed zien. Um, Allee, um, three dimensional. Number 11, 111. Uh, these are really good lashes, let me show you them. They're nice and wispy. God. Not some wispy. Sorry, that one's falling off, for God's sake. <sighs> anyway, yeah. That's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the lash glue that comes with the, those lashes because our lash glue is really good too. So, yeah, by the way, those were £1.99 from TK Maxx instead of £9. Which is quite good actually. But well, actually, really good. Yeah, um, let's go right on to this look. I'm going to be yeah. using my Hate Me Back to Brazil um, palette. This is the Rio edition. I got this one because I was like, hmm, what's the difference between the white and black packaging? See, this is black, the other one's white. Um, yeah, I didn't realise online that the black packaging is shimmers and the white packaging is mattes. So I got the shimmer one. I haven't got any other colourful palettes actually, other than the Jaclyn Hill um, 35 pan palette, um, which has got a couple of colourful colours in, in there, but they're not the best range of colours. I could maybe use the matte blue, but I'd have to mix that in with a bit of the... So I could use the pool party, but I'd have to mix that in with a bit of twig, which is a swimmer, swimming, which is a, what am I on about swimming, which is a dark blue, I don't know what I was going about that one like. Anyway, so I think I am just going to use this palette because it's got every single colour I need in it. I've got two highlighters and a black, which I'm not going to be using the black. Uh, yeah, I actually haven't got any white either, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have any white. I only have this pressed powder from Tarte, which I guess I could use as a white eyeshadow, so I might use that. So, yes. Let's just get right into this. I'm going to tell you which brushes I'm going to be using. Um, none of them have names. So, yeah, that's not good, but anyway. So, I'm going to be using this brush from PS. It's just an angled eyebrow brush. But I'm going to use it to, like, cut the, do a cut crease. I have this brush, which is kind of like a rounded blending brush. I have this brush, which is an angled bl blending brush. I have this brush which is a flat brush, it's not blending, but it's just flat, I don't know what it's for really, but you know, um, I'm getting the James Charles brush set for Christmas, so I'm excited for that, because I don't have any Morphe brushes, I don't, so I'm going to be excited to test out Morphe brushes and to have James Charles stuff. I'm also getting the James Charles um, palette, eyeshadow palette, so yeah I'm excited for that, sorry my face looks like so horrible right now, actually I think that's only a spot that one, I don't know really. I think that's only a spot there, so I don't know. It's because I went to sleep with my makeup on. Anyway, 
yeah. You can know my face is horrible right now. I'm going to try to just get my eyes in here. So, you know. I'm going to be using this brush. I'm also going to be getting a cotton pad to be like wiping off my brush in between things. And before, because I don't know if any, any of these brushes got stuff on. Yeah, that one did. Because I don't wash my brushes every single day because that can just ruin the bristles. So I wash them like every once a month, which sounds a bit nasty. But I only wash these once a month. But like all my like face brushes, like foundation brushes like this, I do wash like twice or three times every month. Because that can be like really unhygienic. So, yeah. I, I only wash these like once a month. And when I'm wiping this off, I'm not going around in circles because I can actually make it like the brush go like weird. I'm just going like, let me show you that. Just going like that. Or I'm going on the edge of the brush like this. Yeah, let me just wipe off this too. Because there might be some bright product on there. Because sometimes I do use this for bright stuff. So, yeah. Let's get started, shall we? So, I'm going to start off with like purple in this inner corner. Then red like down over here because obviously... I don't want to bring my red all the way out here, so I'm going to put my red either by here or by here if I can fit it. So yeah, I'm going to go in with this brush which is accidentally stained blue now from my Jack and Phil palette, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, so as you can probably tell, these are all shimmers, like I told you, which is okay I guess, but... It's a bit annoying. Some shades do turn up more shimmery than others. Some shades do look like mattes, which is good, actually. But anyway, I'm going to be using this purple. thing right here. None of them have names, otherwise I'd be telling you the names of them right now. But yeah, I really like the H Cosmetics eyeshadows. But, um... I feel like the eyeshadow pans size is a bit too small so BH if you're watching this definitely make your pan size a lot bigger because this is a 35 colour eyeshadow palette um, you could make these a lot bigger, bigger if you didn't have any of these at the bottom because you don't really need any of these maybe the black but you don't need these white shades which are like a bit useless let me kind of swatch on. This one's got blue undertone, like bluey green. This one's got kind of a pink undertone. I think they did it for like a highlighter kind of thing. But it's not very useful, I don't think. Because I don't think not many people like a blue undertone for um, like highlighter. And Plenty of people like, like pink undertone, but um, it's not the right. Like, you get me? I don't know how to explain the last time. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to be doing it on this eye again because if I do it on this eye, I'm going to just be like this. Anyway, anyway and it's just easier to do on the eye. Like I told you, I'm going to be dipping into this shade on the very end, second up. I'm just going to put that on like the inner part of my eye, like right there. I'm going to use this as a mirror because it's got actually quite a big mirror in it. I do like to layer my colours a lot, so even if that doesn't turn out very bright, I just dip in a couple more times. Same with any other shimmer eyeshadows, you do have to like dip, dip in a, a lot more times to get the actual pigment out. 
and this is actually one of the shades that's not too shimmery so I'm also bringing this into the inner corner So as you can see there's a lot, a lot of fallout like around this area. So yeah. This can easily be cleaned up though. So there we are, there's the purple. So then I'm gonna just take this again and just wipe this off. Um, I'm also going to take like a fluffy brush, like not too fluffy but like a kind of fluffy one and just kind of like brush away the excess colour. I haven't got the bestest lighting in, in this room but yeah, that looks okay actually. So now, actually there isn't this perfect blue that I like, I want to have, so yeah, just wiping that back in again, um, on my pad again, because I accidentally went like that again. So there's not this perfect blue that I want to have, so I'm just going to take this colour, this one right here, this one, um, this one and just making sure you're getting it perfect so as you can see i'm watching telly over there it's not on right now but i was watching it i'm actually i'm keeping up with the kardashians i wasn't really meant to show you that but anyway i just ran in my mirror and i was like damn <laughs> um so i'm just mixing them in just going like wild just tapping them anyway it doesn't matter how many times you tap it in that's what i look like I'm going to take this as my mirror once again um, I'm just going to put that like right next to it I actually want it a bit darker so um, I'm going to actually go in with a bit more of this shade right here This is actually a really, really good thing. Something was um, like something was in here, like blotting papers, but then fell out because I went like that. See you now. So I'm literally just gonna go in one chill wipe motion, but very, very small ones. So you don't want to take up much of space. And I'm also kind of going into the purple a bit to blend them both in because you don't want to be it having a harsh line between them both so it looks like that I'm just going to take this pointed part at the top and like just go in with no eyeshadow on the on that part and just blend them in like that so it's a bit better of a blend um, I'm actually going to wipe away the under lash line because I don't actually like lash lines like having anything on my lash line. Like it's fine if anything falls under there, but like I don't really like having much. I just think it ruins the look. I think you could do it different. You might like it like that, but I'm just not really that kind of person that has it, it under the line. So I'm just gonna wipe that off again. And then I'm going to do green next. Actually, I'm going to go in with a bit more purple because it looks like the right here that it has now. While on camera, it looks like there's none there, but naturally, I'm going to wash it off. So I'm just going to leave that. You see that like patch there? That's actually just like a reflect of the shimmer. 
sound. Yeah. I thought there was nothing there but gas levels. So for my perfect green. Actually, I think there might be a perfect green in here. Um, actually, I think I might mix two colours together. So, I might mix a bit of this colour, this colour, and a bit of this colour, actually. So this one, this one, and this one. One, two, three, one, two. You could basically just do what I just did. Like that, but kind of messes up the notes if I do that, but who cares? It gets messy anyway. So basically, just use four shades, but yeah. So it just looks like that. It's actually a really, really nice colour. Go go for my mirror again. Um, I'm going to start off on the blue. Just to mix them both together and make sure I have enough room for the next colours. So the blue and the green are actually quite reflective on camera. This actually so is the purple. But in real life, only the green is quite reflective but I think I actually did that perfect straight away this time so yeah that was really quick so I'm going to use the other side because the other side is full now um, so I'm just going to flip it over and start wiping so that side's full so I'm going on this side Um, now I'm going to go in with yellow, so there's no perfect yellow in here that I want anyway, so I'm going to use three colours, I'm going to use oh, this one, this one, and this one. Um, so that's what yellow should look like. But you might actually be using the matte part, so that's probably not what it's going to look like. I actually think it looks really nice as a shimmer colour. It does. I still have to fit orange. When I was little, I thought I used to go red, yellow, orange, green blue purple not red orange yellow green purple I thought it went red yellow orange that way but that's clearly clearly not how it went so I was actually quite stupid when I was little but don't have to talk about that we don't so I'm just wiping that off now on the other side So yeah, well the yellow is off, so now I'm going to do orange, there is a perfect orange in here for the first time in this palette, um, so it's just this one, just have one colour, one colour, you all remember, very perfect, love it. I have to kind of make it ring off now because like I thought we would have to put the orange, the red like right here so I'm kind of like using this part with the brush, like the black part to mix in the red and the orange. 
the orange and the yellow I mean um, just kind of mix that in and kind of making the like orange kind of go to my brown like that but yeah comment down below if you've been watching Riverdale lately I absolutely love it have you seen episode 4? That's amazing. Love it. Love episode 4. It's like, I, actually no, I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it. But yeah, I just love episode 4. So yeah, I just wiped that off. Now, red. There is a perfect red, actually. Which is this colour right here. But it's not like the it's not like an actual red it's kind of like a pinky red but there's no actual red in here in the james charles one is an actual red so i wish i had that but yeah so i'm just gonna put that on my lid i don't even care that this is going down here like on my lid because I was gonna do like a half cut crease anyway. I was, so I don't, I d would not know what to put there anyway. Not the most pigmented red in the world. It's actually not that pigmented. a lot of fallout under my eye. So I'm just rubbing that back and forth until the payoff. If there's any payoff. Because look, I've got like so much eyeshadow on this brush. Like it's and it's still not giving any payoff. But I guess I'll just have to do. Let me look in the mirror. Mix the orange together. Make sure it's a nice way. Hi. Um, I'm just doing like a rainbow eye. So, yeah, if you want to ask me any questions, just comment down below. By the way, this is a live guy, guys, so if you hear me like saying hi or anything, it's because it's a live. But it's going back, it's going up on my channel after this it is, so yeah. Um, I just wiped off my eyeshadow on my thing. I'm just under my eye and to clean up that. That's nice. That's actually quite nice. I didn't use any of my other brushes, but I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna cut it out with concealer. I think because I don't think I can go in with pure white straight away. So otherwise, it won't look pigment pigmented enough. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with hi. I'm gonna go in with like, some concealer to cut my crease. I'm going in with an angled brush. By the way, I'm doing a like rainbow eye inspired from James Charles' channel. I'm not very really good at doing like cut creases, as you can probably already tell. 
I'm like actually quite crap at them. This is like my second time in my whole entire life doing it. So, by the way, if you want to ask me any like questions, go ahead. So yeah, I cut that crease. I just cut my crease. Um, I know I just messed up right there, like. Luckily, I'm not having any eyeshadow under there. Hi. So I'm just like cleaning up my um. I should do. By the way, I'm doing a rainbow cut crease. Um, so I'm gonna be going in with some white eyeshadow on here now. So I actually have no white eyeshadow for some reason. None of my palettes do. Don't know why, but I'm just gonna be going in with like this blotting powder by Tarte this white so I'm just gonna be going in with that on my eye So I just did that. It didn't turn out very, very white. So yeah, I thought it was gonna like stand out a lot more, but it doesn't matter. Oh my God. Also doing a lipstick collection, like what why I find my lipstick collection in this video too. So yeah, look forward to that in like a couple of minutes. Sorry, um, I'm just going in for a bit more purple to cover up my there. I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics palette, and I'm just going in with that there. Um, the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I'm just gonna go right there with a bit more purple. Um, by the way, that's meant to be white. Some reason it's showing up wrong on camera, but it doesn't matter. Um, so now I'm gonna go in with my lipstick collection. So keep on watching if you want to see that. Um, so my first ever lipstick I got, which was like two years ago, but I still got it anyway because it's like just like a keepsake. And um, it's from like number seven in the shade Honey Bloom. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, it's actually like a really nice colour. Let me try swatch it for you. All my hands have like swatches on them. 
it's actually quite a nice nude i think i'll have to try get it again i don't know if they sell it still but it's actually really nice kind of like shade sorry about the really bad light um yeah i have a mini of the mac teddy velvet velvet teddy i mean so stupid for some reason you can never see like labels on camera so annoying but yeah anyway let's swatch this too it's like a mini it is so that's also kind of like that number seven one but a bit darker and then i got my urban decay jane mitchell something lipstick which is like a prop like a proper nude And that's actually a really nice one by Urban Decay. That's really nice. I really like that one. Um, I also have this this ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Gold Digger. Um, just like that. It's really nice and creamy, um, these are, so I really recommend them. That's also really nice. Um, I don't have that many lipsticks, so I might move on to my liquid lips in a minute. So, this is a number 7 matte lip crayon. Which is really nice too. By the way, comment down below some questions for me to answer. That's that. If you want. Um, yeah, I, no, actually, that's not my last one. This is my last one. Um, Soap and Glory Gloss Stick. Gloss Stick. Um, this one's nice and creamy too. It's, it's very sheer though. There we are. Um, so now I'm going to move on to my liquid lips. Um, I have a Too Faced Melted Latex one. I have literally so many swatches on my hand. So it's just the very bottom one. That's a really nice one. But I think I might get in a different shade because I don't really like this one. In that shade, so yeah. Um, comment down below some questions or like say w which one you like so far. So, this one is by the brand PS, it's like it's called Nudes. So, yeah, and that's that one. That one's really nice too. Um, I have this other one from PS, it's called the Super Matte Liquid Lipstick. Um, I really like the applicator on this one. And it dries down super matte, it does, so I really like that. So that's that one. Um, I also have the L'Oreal Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in, um, this is like the Les Chocolates one, and it actually smells like chocolates, I absolutely love this, it's in the shade 848, the colour is Dose of Coca, um, yeah, that's that one, oh, I love it, it smells so much like chocolate, I love it, like it's so nice. And that's that one. Um, I think that's my last liquid lip. So I might move on to my glosses now. So that's lipsticks and lip and glosses. So I actually haven't got a lip gloss on. So I might put one of these on. Um, let's pick one. 
think I might actually pick this number seven high shine lip gloss I really like this one so I'm going to put this one on I really like the applicator on this one so yeah this is like a coral colour it's nice and hydrating on your lips so if your lips like get really dry in the winter this would be really nice Yeah, and it hasn't got much of a coverage, so if you don't want it to look like you have much on, this would be really nice. So on this hand, I have a lot and lots of like swatches of other stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna swatch this shade. Um, yeah, it's a Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker um, lip gloss in like this like shade. It does have a shade. Oh yeah, it does. Pink Stardust which I really like that name so nice did I tell you the shade of this? hasn't even got a shade name anyway so but yeah this one's pink stardust pink stardust yeah um, so my next one is um, Lip Lissure by 17. None of these have got colours, so yeah, I'm just going to fly through them really quick. I have a couple of these and they haven't got much coverage, but if you like layer them up, they have quite a bit. You just have to layer them up a lot. Um, so yeah. Sorry, I'm just knocking everything down my eye. So I have this one. I use this one most of the time. It's another lipless hue. So this one's more of a nude, a nudier colour. Um, I have this one, which is a more of a peachy colour. You can barely see this one, so yeah. If you just want a bit of a shine over your really matte liquid lip. Or even lipstick, defo go for that shade. Um, this one's more of like a Barbie pink kind of colour. Well, not really Barbie pink, like a light Barbie pink. This one's more of like a darker bar Barbie pink. Actually, no, it's not. It's more of a coral. Yeah, that one's more of a coral. This one, I would say, is more like a Barbie pink. The first one we tried, which was the Sexy Mother Pucker in Pink Stardust. So, yeah. Let me put all that back. So that's actually all my lip products all done. So, yeah. That's all my lip glosses, this is all my liquid lips and lipsticks. So thanks for watching me swatch all my colours and tell you which brands I have. And thanks for watching me do this makeup look. Um, comment down below if you want me to do more cut creases, maybe a more natural cut crease this time. Um, maybe more of like browns and like golds and all so comment down below if you want me to do that um yeah just comment down below any video ideas you want um yeah so thanks for watching like comment and subscribe so yeah bye